Hello, my loves, and welcome back to another episode um, of Your Resident Reflector. Uh, my name is Anastasia, and I am, as you may have already guessed, a human design reflector. And I created this this platform um, to share to share what's on my heart, share what has been kind of going on, um, and like, and what I've been feeling. And the more that I learn about myself through the perspective of being a human design reflector, um, the more that I realize I just, if, if I can only just be more and more myself and share with the world without feeling the need to fix and simply sharing my perspective and letting people do whatever they want to do um, with that. But just know that everything I share is um, comes from a place of love and hope. And my desire is that um, you would not only feel supported and seen through the things that I share, because I often feel pick up things like from my environment um, and honestly, sometimes it doesn't even make sense to me, but I'll just feel it. So I'm sharing with you in the hopes that you will benefit um, and find healing through this information. Okay. You know, it's funny. I sat down to record this episode and I want you all to know, like, these are very unscripted episodes. Like, I don't write down a script word for word. I basically write like a right before I hop on, I write a rough outline of what I've been feeling lately and what are some common things that I've been um, asking, some common questions I've been asking and desires I've been having. And and um, then I just make a rough outline of some of them. And then I typically pick one to three to talk about. And then whatever else comes up, comes up while I'm talking. But today, um, today is very interesting because I want to say it's, it's this word that I'm going to share with you has been weighing on me for at least a week since, since the last recording I did, since the last video. And the word is transcend 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 and i have been thinking about this um reading about this word it has come up in conversation it has just come to me at the most perfect times where i've been like oh i i bet that's a part of the puzzle of like what i'm trying to figure out with this word transcend it means to rise above or to um go beyond the limits of transcend. And a few weeks ago, I shared an experience that happened to me where I was sitting outside of a coffee shop and a stranger, um, a man was taking photos of me pretending like he wasn't like he was very much like trying to just like, like the camera was like low and he was taking pictures of me as I was sitting outside and I called him out on it. I did. And it turned into a big shit show. The cops were called and I was very shaken up, ended up crying most of the day just because I felt I was just so um, rocked by the experience, by the situation. And I had a lot of anger within me. I was angry. I was angry at this man. Um, I felt as if he had uh, crossed a, crossed a, how do I say, taken something from me. He had done something without my consent. I felt like it happened to me. Um, and it was a really interesting situation because shortly after the experience, like very shortly after, I had a call with um, somebody who, who was just thankfully so honest with me and shared with me a new way to contextualize the experience, a new way to contextualize it. And see it differently. And I didn't know that that's what I needed in that moment. You know, and I think sometimes difficult things happen to us um, and they're not our fault. 
they're the the actions of other people, you know, um, the projections of other people, the mistakes of other people, the pain of other people. And we're kind of just like caught in the crossfires and we get triggered. We get triggered and, you know, it turns into something. Uh, it turns into something. Something. So I start off with this. What does it mean to transcend? What does it mean to transcend? And I kind of just alluded to it, but simply put, to me, at this point in the experience, it means contextualizing a situation so that you rise above it. You rise above it, contextualizing your experience. Um, and in order to do this, forgiveness is crucial. Forgiveness, right? I used to think that forgiveness meant, um, hey, yeah, I guess what you did to me doesn't matter anymore. So you go your way, I'll go mine. And hopefully I can repress this. <laughs> I can repress this and act like it never happened. That's truly what I believed forgiveness was. I believed forgiveness was very much like, I guess I'm supposed to do this. I don't really want to. But if I say the words, I forgive you, then maybe eventually I'll mean it. But I don't actually mean it now as I'm saying it. So I'm lying. Yes, I'm lying. But religion tells me to say these words. So I'm going to say them. I didn't quite understand what forgiveness really was. And and the more work that I've been doing personally, spiritually, um, emotionally, all the lees. Okay. The work that I've been doing is teaching me that forgiveness is more so about choosing to, I'm going to do a little, put on the lens of unconditional love. That's what it is. Forgiveness is more about choosing to enter into the spirit, right? To like transcend our mortal conditioning, to transcend our mortal emotions, to transcend our ego, and to enter into this spiritual um, plane that we all, we all have, right? To transcend the mortal, the physical, tra transcend it into the spiritual and see that person through the lens of unconditional love. And if you can see that person and um, what's the word? Yes, yes. If you can see that person and find their innocence. I know this sounds, this sounds really countercultural. But if you can see through these spiritual glasses, through this lens of uncondi unconditional love, and you can see into the other person who hurt you, who caused you pain. And you can see that within there, they are a child of God and there is innocence there and they have their own pain. They have their own sickness. They have their own mistakes, their own human, their own condition, their own story. And you can see past all of the evil, all of the pain that they may have caused you to their innocence. I say this again, you can't do this in your mortal conditioning. Like this truly requires you to transcend the ego into this other spiritual plane where there is unconditional love. And that is the only thing that is real there, right? Everything else is an illusion. So when you transcend to this, un this place of unconditional love and you can see the innocence and in another person and you can say, I see the innocence in you. I see past your hurt, past your mistakes, past your actions into the innocence in you, the God given innocence. If you can do that for another person that has potentially hurt you or wronged you, then you can do that for yourself. And then you say, I see past my hurt. I see past my pain. I see past the things that have happened to me, the things that I've done into the innocence in me. That's forgiveness. That's forgiveness. And Is that powerful? <gasps> that also you put also puts you in a state to where you can address the situation and make far more progress to heal 
than you could otherwise, than you could otherwise when you're in that spiritual place of transcendence and forgiveness. And so now here I am, you know, thinking about the word forgiveness and the word transcendence. And now I think they are more synonyms. I used to think they weren't related at all, but now I think they might just be one in the same. They might just be one in the same. And here's the truth too. Um, No matter what has happened to you, no matter what terrible things somebody did to you, no matter what that is, they cannot take away your joy. They cannot take away your power because those things, they are not the source of those things. So they can't take it away. They can't take it away. So by forgiving, transcending, and looking through these, this new lens, this lens of unconditional love, you can see that person past their pain and mistakes to the innocence in them. You can also do the same for yourself. And this, what this does is heal shame, guilt, fear. Um, I'm not going to go into that yet, just yet, but I'm going to read this note here. Yeah, never your power, your joy never belong to them, so they can't take it from you. They're not the source of it. So in moments like this, you go to the source, you go to God and you pray. Now, I don't know what relationship you have with prayer. Um, I don't know what God you pray to if you pray at all. But this is what a prayer can sound like. This is what a prayer can sound like. (sighs) Lord, I am angry. Insert emotion. Lord, I am pissed off. Lord, I am hurting. Lord, I'm mad. I'm resentful. But I'm willing to see this experience another way. Will you show me another way to see this experience? Will you help me see this situation differently? Period. And you just ask for help. You're saying, this is how I feel now. But. I am open to, I'm willing not to be angry. I'm angry right now. I'm willing not to be. Will you help me see another way? And this, you can insert any emotion that you feel in there, especially the lower level emotions, the dent, the denser emotions, the fear, the shame, the guilt, the anger, um, those are the things that we want to transcend. And that is how we do it. This was, um, this has been heavy on my heart for a while. I'm so happy that I could share it with you. Um, and please in the comments, uh, leave your, um, thoughts. I would love to hear. You can also find me on Instagram and share with me, uh, how this episode spoke to you, what you learned. And until next time, love you so much and I'll talk to you soon.